the resolution of the force into two perpendicular directions. Now the force R acts at point O and we want to resolve this force into two perpendicular forces F1 and F2 such that F1 inclines by an angle theta with the direction of R. In this case, the parallelogram becomes a rectangle. F2 inclines on the direction of R by 90 minus theta. AC represents F2 in magnitude and direction. Applying the sign rule on triangle OAC, F1 over sine of the opposite angle, which is 90, which is 90 minus theta, so F1 over sine 90 minus theta equals F2 over sine theta. This is equal to R over sine of A, which is right angle 90 degree. Simplify sine 90 minus theta equals cosine theta. So F1 over cosine theta equals F2 over sine theta. This is equal to R over sine 90 is 1. So this is equal to R. Now cross product to get F1 and F2. Then F1 equals R cosine theta and F2 equals R sine theta. So if F2 is the component of the two forces adjacent to angle theta, so F2 equals R cosine theta. And F1 equals R times sine theta. Example, a force of magnitude 100 gram weight in the direction of west or north find its components in the north and in the west directions. Start by sketching the two main axes, the horizontal and vertical axis. We have the four direction, north, north, south, east and west. The force is 100 gram weight in the direction of west and north. The western north is in the middle between the north and the west. So it's 45 degree from both sides. This is the given force, 100 gram. Find its components in the north and in the west directions. So this is F1 and this is F2. If the angle is in the middle, of course, the two components will be equal. Assume theta is the angle adjacent to F1. So F1 equals R cosine theta and F2 equals R sine theta. Let F1 be the component in the north direction. This is equal to... So F1 equals R cosine of the adjacent angle. This is equal to 100 cosine 45 or 50 square root 2 gram weight. Similarly, F2 equals R sine theta. This is equal to 100 sine 45. This is equal to 50. This is also equal to 50 square root 2 gram weight. Another example. Resolve a horizontal force, 40 newtons, into two perpendicular directions. One of them inclines by 30 degree with the horizontal end upwards. This is the horizontal force, 40 newtons. We need to resolve it into two perpendicular directions. So this is F1. It inclines by 30 degree upward. F2 is perpendicular to F1. It goes downward and this is a right angle. The angle between F2 and R is 90 minus 30 to be 60 degree. Assume theta is the angle adjacent to F1. So F1 equals R cosine theta. So F1 equals R cosine theta. So F1 equals 40 times cosine 30 to be 20 square root 3 newtons. Similarly, F2 equals R times sine of theta, so R sine theta equals 40 times sine 30 to be 20 newtons. A body of weight 20 gram weight is placed on an inclined plane by 60 degrees with the horizontal. Find the components of the weight in the direction of the plane and the normal to it. We have an inclined plane that inclines by 60 degree with the horizontal. This is the body. It weighs 20 gram weight. The weight is a vertical force. It's required to find the two components of the weight, one in the direction of the inclined surface and the other in the normal to it. Normal means perpendicular. The weight is vertical, so we have a right triangle. So here we have a right angle, so OAB is a right triangle. If the plane inclines with the horizontal by 60 degree, so this angle is 30 degree. F1 is a component 
adjacent to the 30 degrees so it's equal so it equals the weight times cosine 30 f2 is the other component so it equals the weight so f2 equals the weight 20 times sine 30 so f1 equals 20 cosine 30 and f2 equals 20 sine 30 this is equal to 10 square root 3 and this is equal to 10 gram wheat a body of weight 20 newtons is placed on an inclined plane with inclination 30 degree to the horizontal find the magnitude of the components of the weight in the direction of the plane and the normal to it here we have a body placed in an inclined plane the plane inclines by 30 degree with the horizontal this is a right angle so this angle is 60 degree the weight is 20 newtons the weight is a vertical force f1 is the component adjacent to this angle to the angle 60 so f1 equals the weight 20 times cosine 60 and f2 is a normal to it or the perpendicular to it will take the sine of the same angle so 20 sine 60 f1 equals 20 cosine 60 this is equal to 10 newtons and f2 equals 20 sine 60 this is equal to 10 square root 3 newtons.